Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a really quick one take video on my nail art brushes. So right here I have this four pack that I purchased from Michaels and it was, I would like to say it was about $7 Canadian for these four brushes and they are small detail acrylic brushes. But these are the ones that I most commonly use and they are the Artist Loft name brand. I'm not sure if you can see that make that out but yes they are artist loft and the sizes are zero zero five over zero one and ten over zero so as you can see they're really small I'm not a painter so I'm not sure what the numbers specifically mean I've kind of figured out over the past couple of years that the smaller the number the smaller the brush so yeah this is my favorite pack like package of brushes to buy so I buy those quite often and replace them they're easy to replace and they're cheap so yeah and then I have this one here this one is also a 10 over 0 there was a 10 over 0 in that uh, artist loft pack this one is American painter and I'll just take the cap off this is a new one I've this is a repurchase as well I have repurchased this brush because I love it so much and I'll just show you the difference this is the 10 over 0 in the Artist Loft package and as you can see this American Painter brush just comes to a finer point so I like to use this one for really really fine details and lettering and whatnot that one's really great for this one is still really great as well um, this one just is tapered and I believe this one isn't so when you're looking for brushes and you're looking for something specific like that really compare them to other brushes and see how they differ and then lastly I have this brush here and this is my cleanup brush it's an angled brush and it's got a grip here which is really nice and a translucent handle so this might be kind of hard to see but it's a 1 over 8 inch brush Royal and Lang Nickel is the name brand so and then the bottom comes to a point too which looks really nice but yeah this is the one that I use for cleanup I'm sure you've seen it in my videos before so yeah, let me know if you like this video. Let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to see in a really quick one take video. They're a lot easier to make and I could probably upload quite a few more videos if I can do these just really easy one take videos on some information that you guys might want to know. So let me know and if you don't like these videos, let me know as well because it's always good to get feedback. But yeah, if there's any more questions, that you have to ask just go ahead and ask me in the comments below if you want to know um, for example like what acrylic paint I use or my dotting tools what they look like and what where I got them and all that kind of stuff uh, really anything anything at all just let me know and I can do one of these really quick one take videos for you to just to give you some information um, also another video that I was considering making was I get asked a lot why I use acrylic paint for my nail art instead of nail polish so let me know if you'd like a detailed video on that because there are a lot of pros and cons for using both and I wouldn't mind going over that with you guys and I think it would be really really helpful for beginners especially so let me know if you're interested in seeing a quick one take video on that other than that I hope you guys are having a really great day and I'll talk to you soon thanks for watching